I'm here at the doctor's office today, and I can now say that they're my doctor's office, and we're at Maryland Primary Care Physicians, and we're here to talk about something that's probably affecting a lot of people, or it's going to be very soon, and that's allergies. So we're here with Dr. Harnes, and we're going to be talking about allergy season. Allergy season. It's, it's uh, just about to be allergy season. We've had a late winter this year, but, mm -hmm. um, but as you can see, the trees are starting to do their things, the flowers are in bloom, and the pollen count is going to be uh, climbing really, really soon. A lot of people will come in with itchy eyes and runny noses and sneezing, congestion, um, and that's all allergies. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Yeah. It's right. trouble time. It's trouble time yeah. like that. So what can we do? So let's just talk a little bit about what allergies are. Okay. You know, allergies are just your immune system's response to something it doesn't like, um, it's to an invader into your body. And um, um, at this time of year, there's lots of tree pollen, and that's, that's a very, very common thing for people to be allergic to. Mm. When your body senses all that tree pollen, it makes certain chemicals to try to, to um, uh, fight off that pollen, and the big ones are things like histamines, um, and that's what causes your itchy, runny eyes and mm. uh, sneezing and all that, that kind of things like that. So, um, so a few things that we can do. Um, probably the best thing is, to, in, and this is, this is just like a, um, uh, the very obvious thing to do, is try to stay away from the things that you're allergic to. You know, it makes sense, but I bet you a lot of people right. have harder time than you think. Right, yeah, I know, like, exactly. right, like that old joke, like if it hurts when I do this, yeah, well, yeah, don't do like, that yeah. anymore. <laughs> right, that's exactly what oh, the uh, um, allergies are. So if you're allergic to tree pollens or grass pollens in the spring, um, and you're gonna be outside uh, working in the yard, mm -hmm. um, um, many times people will wear a mask to cut the lawn or right. something like that, and that helps the re resp response. When you come in from all of that, wash your face and your hands um, uh, before you go to bed, take a shower, wash your hair, get all that pollen off you so that you're not you know, laying down on your pillow, all the pollen falls on your pillow and you rub your nose in it all night right. long, right? Um, like that, so that's something to do. If you can get somebody else to do the outdoor work, um, um, that that's great too. Oh, perfect! Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So, Tell all my family that I'm allergic to grass. Right. Please. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly, like, uh, like that. Many people in the in the um, in the springtime need to turn their air conditioners on early to to filter out some of that pollen. Right. We all are dying to just open our windows up and let all that good spring air out in and all the bad winter air out. And for people who have a lot of allergies, they just can't do that mm -hmm. uh, like that. We have lots of kids who are playing sports in the spring and allergies right. are a problem for them them too like that so um so so suppose you uh, have allergies and you've done everything you can do but um but it, you still have to go outside right. sometimes um, um a few things that you can do any histamines um are exactly that they fight that histamine that makes your nose itch and your right. makes you sneeze and things like that and a lot of those antihistamines are available over the counter now um, um, the original antihistamines that we had were great, but they made people really sleepy. Medicines like Benadryl and Chlortrimeton and those kinds of things. They only lasted a few hours and they made people sleepy. Now we have some long-acting antihistamines that don't make you so drowsy. Right. Um, um, medicines like Allegra and Zyrtec and Claritin or the generics of any of those, right. uh, um, things like that. Those are all available over the counter now, which is just great. Um, generally, they don't make people sleep sleepy. Generally, they don't interfere with other medications. So, so that's nice. We can use those medicines in kids down to um, six months old. So that's good. Um, that's good too. Right. The other medicines that are out there right now are the um, nasal sprays and uh, the steroid nasal sprays, mm -hmm. and they're the ones that make your nose less overreactive. Yeah. To, they sort of, sort of settle down your your immune system. Flonase. Flonase, right. <laughs> there are, the Flonase and its competitors as well. Yeah. And all of them are easy to use. Um, uh, it's a nas nasal spray that you use every day, mm -hmm. not just on the days that you have symptoms, but you use it every day. And over time, it takes about a week to work. Uh, over time, it just makes your nose less overreactive to all that stuff out of there. I usually tell patients a good rule of thumb is if you, if you have spring allergies, start your medications about St. Patrick's Day. Rough and dirty, that's when the pollen count starts to rise. And you want to have that nasal spray um, in your system and off and running before the pollen really right. hits. It's a little hard, just like it's a little harder to um, make your symptoms better 
once you're really miserable. Right, it's right, right. better to, it's easier to, to prevent it than to uh, to fix it. And that's easy to remember, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's go, Day. When you're going green, when you're get going ready for green. all the green that's coming. That's right. Yeah, right. There you go. And that's when we have an early spring, it's a little late, and t this year probably it's a little early, but rough and dirty, it's about St. Patrick's Day. And then stay on your medicine until, and I usually tell people until the, the kids are out of school. Because that's about the time that the, the leaves are done and the grass right. is out and, and it calms down a little bit like that. Perfect. Like that. Right, like that. Do you have any trouble with asthma or wheezing when you have your allergies? Okay, uh, sure. Sure. For, for the, yes. Yes, sure, <laughs> sure. And that's a, common, that's a common response too. And so that's the kind of, kind of thing that if you, um, um, if you found like, oh, I'm getting chest tightness, I'm wheezing, mm -hmm. I'm having a little trouble breathing, it's probably all this miserable pollen out there that's causing it. That's a reason to come and see us. Right. Okay. So that's a reason to come. The other reason to come and see us is uh, if you have complications of your uh, your allergies, like a sinus infection. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when you're all stuffy up in here, that's a good place for the bacteria to get in and you get a sinus infection. Right. So if you were to get facial pain or a lot of... Uh, post-nasal drip that just doesn't seem like it's getting better. You start right. thinking, I'm not just allergic, I'm sick. Yeah. That's a reason to come in. There you go. Yeah. Let me ask you, um, um, so pollen is the, the, the thing that is out right now, yeah. but many people have a little bit of allergies that go on year round, yeah. and then the pollen hits and it all goes crazy, right? And right? You, you start right? spiking. Yeah, and the allergists will say that your body is kind of like a bucket. You know that right. that, um, that your body can tolerate a little bit of this or a little bit of that, but when you get so much, the bucket overflows, and that's when you get symptoms. Right. So, do you have pets at home? That's right. They're, yeah. they're trouble. Yeah. I bet you. That I'm now talking with you. It's probably worse in the spring because the dog's outside playing in the grass, picking it all up, some bringing of, it in. Some of that, and probably what happens is you have a little bit of allergy to the dog all right. the time, and so there's Dogs. just not that much to make your bucket overflow, right? right? Like that. So Dogs, you're telling me to get rid of the dog. Well. Uh, you hear that? No yeah. dog. No dog. Yeah, is. <laughs> right. Um, some people have to get rid of their dogs. Some some pe uh, people really have have trouble with it. At the very least, at the very least, if you can keep the dog out of your bedroom. Right. So many people have the dog sleep on the bed, or the cat sleep on the pillow, or on their face, and you know they wonder why they wake up with. Um, um, itchy, runny eyes, and right. congestion in the morning, like that. So that's a really important one that that people have in their homes year-round, like that. Dust and mold are um, other twos that are yeah. around year. And I think in the in the winter time we have more trouble with dust allergies because we have, you know, um, forced air heating mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, um, and we have more trouble with molds. Uh, um, sometimes indoors as well. We have a lot of that when it's been really rainy here on the eastern shore. Um, yeah, a lot of always, people with, yeah. with uh, you know, we're, we're just a half an inch above sea level, right. so there's a lot of standing water like that. We get a lot of molds and things like that. In the fall, um, when the farmers all cut their fields, we get a lot of mold yeah. that goes in the air mm -hmm. too, so there's another flare um, at that point too. Right there. Are there allergies in your family? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, right. I never talked to my parents about yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. I'm sure they're you fine. May, yeah, you may find that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, may, you may find that it's the kind of thing that does run in your family. Right. So you may hear that if you asked your parents, they might say, oh, yeah. Oh, I oh, guess yeah. I have to oh, call them now. Oh, well. Thanks a lot. Thanks doc. a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so, so that's, that's a lot to take in. And a lot of people will probably see changes you know, in their lifetime. Like I was telling you, I wasn't allergic. Absolutely. Forever, and then the past three years, it's really been a thing. Absolutely, and season to season, too. So mm -hmm. there's some seasons that, that um, things aren't so bad. There's some seasons that the trees really put out a lot of pollen, mm -hmm. uh, um, like that. And then there's times during the season the pollen count really, really rises. And you can follow that. Yeah, I'm sure you guys do uh, news and weather and things like that. Right. And um, you can follow the pollen count, kind of see what's going on. We all know it when we're brushing off that yellow stuff off our cars. But, um, but right now, even the pollen count is starting to rise. Right. 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 So be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. And if you're having any itching, runny nose, any symptoms, some pain in the Absolutely eyes. Absolutely fine to take the over-the-counter medicines. Yeah. They're all medicines that used to be prescription and they're safe enough to go over the counter. So you can use those. And complications or if you just can't get um, um, a handle on them, come on in and see us. All right. Okay. So visit your doctor if you have any problems and uh, get rid of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> see, I tried. <laughs> well, thank you so much. All right. All right. Nice to see you.